fellow YouTubers, Trouble835 here, YouTube Gaming Community number 27. Okay, I told Techromancer 1 this show will be drama free and be free. So, no counting to anything without having to pass shows or anything. We're going to get, first of all, to the massive response to my Girl Gamer shout out. How we're going to do this is I'm going to name the channel who sent me uh, either a PM or a comment and then the Girl Gamers he wanted me to shout out. So you are going to see some channel, Girl Gamer channels uh, repeatedly shouted out. And then in, in the comments or the description below, first we'll have Girl ch Checkout Channel list and all their channels and then the people who responded to shouting Girl Gamer channels out. They'll be in the list also. So, first things first. Amy's Bro wanted me to shout out Dagger Cat 147. Nescapades wanted me to shout the Gibbs 24. Kiwi Princess 01. Press Heart to Continue, Jurassic, and Johnny Death Fan 33. Real quickly, I've gotten this count a couple times in a couple weeks. I am aware of what had happened in her situation. Unfortunately, I am aware of what happened, and uh, hopefully she uh, comes back to YouTube the way she used to. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, anyway, the completest channel you want me to shout out. This is a channel I've shouted out in the past. I've gotten it wrong, and now I'm going to get it wrong again because I forgot what I, you know. Okay. I believe it's. L L M A R I S S A L L. Uh, Bakeman 13 had Winry. Mark Vergier had the Gibbs 24. Crow 111 had M N O P X S 2 and Dog in My Lens. Monte Carlo 10 254 had Candy Tutorials and Winry Gamer. Uh, White Girls Asian Please. His shoutouts were Stormcloud Reigns, 90 Angie. Fuse Gaming, Melanie, The Whiskey, Johnny Death Fan 33, The Hybrid Phoenix, Tiger Fiction, Nintendo Fangirl, Kiwi Princess 01, Dog in My Lens, Charassic, Sanchi 1712, and She Rubik Wendigo, and 78 Strider H I R Y U, his were 90 Angie, Tiger Fiction, Charassic, Steph's to Death, and then Lud PD, or Lou PD, had Steph's to Death and Dog in My Lens. GameCube Channel had Johnny Death Fan 33, MNOPXS2, Golden Jelly Bean, Nintendo Fangirl, Girl Gamer Arrow, She Geek Show, Charassic, Dagger Cat 147, Just Another Level, the Gibbs 24, Z Blastian, then again, L L M A R I S S A L L, and Steph's to Death. Next up is Equilibrium Gaming. His words Gamer Jitsu, M N O P X S 2, Death of Genova, 90 Angie, and then C H E R U B C W I N D I G O. X Lady Jamie 178X, Nintendo Fangirl, and Rinry Gamer. Next up is Scope Gaming, Dog in My Lens, Hot Tar Love, and his third one, my favorite, was Jen. I don't know the name of her channel. So, whenever you know the name of the channel, man, just comment or PM me it, and I will shout her out in a later date. Or if anybody else knows what channel he's talking about. Um, Chipsters were The Gibbs 24 and Original Fuse Gaming. Now, let's get to a couple other things you may want to know. Chipster has a second channel on YouTube called <clears throat> Top 10 Video Games. And Travel Joe 2010 has King Crookton Gaming just for his gaming stuff. So I will link to both those channels below. And Creeboy411 wanted me to shout out uh, these are non girl game channels Davies Game Corner and Controller Throwers. And then Travel Joe 2010 wanted me to shout out A S A L I E R I. Now, very well, this guy's channel. I've watched his videos before. He does reviewing a reviewer series. Basically, where people who are angry or cussing and stuff like that like NC17 Productions, Retro Gamer 3. Uh, the latest one I saw was part one of Angry Video Game Nerd. Now, he does have high editing and production value to his videos, he does have comedy in it. But he also rips these channels apart. Or the reviews apart. 
And so if you're a fan of the, any of the channels he has in his videos, you're probably not going to like it if you're a fanboy. Now, the last one I saw, which is the part with the angry video game nerd, um, he does read uh, troll messages, because obviously, because of what he does, he obviously gets a lot of mess fanboy messages. So. so I'll link those channels below. Now, a couple things I want to talk about real quick for this show. Some of you may be aware of November 11th in the United States is Veterans Day. So if anybody out there is going to be doing some kind of shout out to veterans, whether it be a military gameplay video with a shout out to them in it, or dressed like a video game character shout out to them, whatever, um, link that to the November 8th show as a video response. And then the November 11th show, I will shout out the channel and those person's videos. Okay. I do have something, some, something I want you guys to comment to about Thanksgiving, but we'll get to that later on and New Year's. But the one I really want you guys to know about because you guys are going to think about supplying me, some of you are we going to do it. But on the December 9th show, I want video responses. And I'll remind you as we get closer to it of you guys decorating your game room in either Christmas or holiday, depending on what you believe in. But December 9th show, you can link those videos from December 9th to December 22nd. And on December 23rd, since obviously everybody's going to be busy with holidays, so forth and so on, the that Thursday video, I will uh, shout out those channels and those videos. And if there are any things I decide to add details, so forth, I will let you know as we get closer to that. Because I love game rooms, and we all love holiday decorations, so why not just do those on the show? So. Now... Let's get to what I want you to comment on, video response, or PM me for the next show. Since we've been talking about, recently, what do you do when one friend trolls another, you know, the, some dramas with friendships on YouTube and stuff, simple question, well, two-part question for you. What are your do's and don'ts regarding your friendship on YouTube? What are your do's and don'ts you have for people who are your friends on YouTube? And the second part of this question is how does this differ from your do's and don'ts from your real life friendship? Or for some of you who may not understand that, your offline friendships. And next to you, I will uh, read the comments. And uh, again, if I, if, I, if I get a bunch of people with the same comment, I'll read the first comment on it and then just tell it these people gave you the same comment. So be very interested to see those answers. So, let's get the videos to check out, shall we? The first one is from TechCromancer1. Now, I've been doing this show since July 25th, or five months now, this show. During that time, I've had more comments or personal messages on when is TechCromancer1 going to do another invasion video? Because everybody loves his invasion videos. Well, he just, released, uh, he just released Let's Invade YouTube Zombie Nation Invasion. So if you want to get the full details, go to the video. I, ha I have it linked below. But, you know, basically if you have a costume, if you're doing a, you know, a Halloween video game, if you're doing Halloween music, you know, again, go to his channel, find out what you have to do, put it down as a video response to his, and he will shout you out in later videos. His invasions are always awesome. So... Next up is Equilum Gaming. He did a Halloween special, part one and two. Um, now this is something he's never done before. He did it by himself. So again, anytime someone tries something new on YouTube, especially very early on, the first time they were done it, you always gotta, you know, you know, not put too much. But I thought he did a really good job, honestly, for his first time doing this. It was really well done. So since we need some comedy in our life on YouTube, check out Happy Council Gamers Outtakes Part 10. Um, a channel I just recently became aware of called the Nintendo Drummer. If you don't know what he does, um, here's what he does. It's almost like a watermark effect, if you've ever seen that uh, on computer screens. What he does is, okay, here's the game playing in the in the forefront. And you, know, you can hear all the sound of the game and the music. In the background, you see him playing the drums, and he's playing the drums to the actual song of the video game. So it's really cool. Uh, the latest one he did was Friday the 13th on the NES. And uh, so some of you may not have kept up with the video game news. Uh, 
Super Mario Brothers All Stars Limited Edition is coming out in the United States on December 12th. It's basically until they run out situation, so obviously I guess there might only be one run on it. It's going to be $29.99. If you want to see what's actually going to be in it, check out Pete Doerr's uh, latest video, which I'll link to, where he imported that video game and uh, you know unboxes everything that you're going to get in it. It's really cool, actually, because it's linked to the 25th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. So. Next up is Jason Moore 87 Cheap Ass Games. Um, you know, one thing I've always liked about Jason Moore's videos, he has very interesting a way he edits it and that. But more importantly, how he has a very short video, but in that short video, he gets his message and meaning across very well in that short of a time. Um, this one was basically about, you know, how uh, you know, the home consoles were going to have more cheaper games and what are people's expectations for those games. So, uh, if you're interested in check that out. And next up is the Tark 77's RGB to component. YUV, or some of you may know this as the answer. That's what he originally put this up, and a lot of people watch the video thinking, again, when it happened, I'm not going to talk about it again, that he was responding to that, but he wasn't. But he changed the title of that to this. So if you'd like to see all the component stuff he has against the one that, and all the technical stuff of what he does, check that out. Um, next up is Night Tram. Night Ram 56, info on fake merchandise from the video game memorabilia museum. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check that out. And then uh, Jill Poo 3's Halloween special, Castlevania Blood Moon. Um, if you want to see what Castlevania Blood Moon with, of course, the usual comedy skits that he does. And then lastly, the one I did see, though I did not actually watch it yet, uh, Sadam Todd's, uh, also his Halloween video. And the last video I want you to check out is Amy Bro's uh, video game discussion about Black Sheep, how people in the community use that too much. So my next video, guys, we're going to finally get back to check out channel lists especially really small channels. So until that video,